only tattoos I will refuse to do is something that I don't think I can do good. I won't do swastikas. Is green. That's Tattoo. about it. I had a black guy ask me to do a SWAT sticker. I mean, anything that has to do with gangs or hate, you know what I mean? That stuff is just gotta go. I did a goat whore fucking yourself with a crucifix with written in blood it said, let Jesus fuck you. Oh, yes. Well, I won't do anything race related, you know, or just racist related. It's, it's kind of a given. Yeah, black racist off. tattoos, gang tattoos that are no -no. Yeah, no, none of that shit. Hate type tattoos. Personally, anything like uh, heavily drug oriented, I won't do. I don't care. Uh, I won't, I'm just, because of my past and what I've been through, I think, uh, unfortunately, people make incredibly rash decisions when it comes to tattoos, so I feel like it's my job to protect them from themselves, so stuff like that I won't do. But like swastikas and stuff like that is oh, goes without yeah, saying, yeah. you know. If I feel the person is not ready, and they really not ready when they too picky, and when they don't trust me, I, I see they scared to get a tattoo, then I refuse. Tell them you're not ready for that. Get the fuck out of here, come back next to you. Yeah, I've tattooed yeah. a dick yeah. before. Not a dick. Oh, I'm tattooed. I've tattooed a picture. I have of a tattooed dick. a dick. And you a butthole would. and a taint. Did you do a butthole? How do you heal a butthole? You gotta, cause poo is constantly touching your fucking wound. A shitload of, no pun intended, but a shitload of baby wipes. And a lot of squatting. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Another one is a kid had just turned 18 and he wanted to fuck the police across the stomach, and I didn't want to be part of that murder, so I told him no. But those were the only two realistically that I said no to. People that want to get tattoos on their face, or maybe like I got a girl. I remember she got a lot of cuts in her arm, and she wanted to get like a writing saying so I want to die. I'm like I wouldn't do that. No tattoo hands whatsoever. I don't tattoo faces. Unless they're my friends and they're heavily tattooed, then I'll tattoo them. I per personally find cover-ups really hard to deal with. Like, uh, personally, I'm a watercolor tattoo artist, so all my stuff really needs a smooth gradient transition, so there's not a lot of texture in what I do. So a lot of those things, um, in sort of gang-related stuff, my mind does not do symmetry. Like, I, I'm very messy and abstract, so like when people have all these crazy patterns, like it blows my mind that they're gonna lay this perfect like mandala stencil on something that is curved and not cylindrical. Like, I don't know how the hell they do it. I refuse to do this kid, oh man. He was born in 1991, uh, 19, 1991. And he wanted to get 1991 right here. No tattoos whatsoever, just that one. Um, now it's, Nowadays, kids want to get tattoos on their faces all the time, and they just rather tattoo their face and their hands before tattooing, you know, their torso. I wouldn't do hand tattoos or neck tattoos or face tattoos on people that are not heavily tattooed. Listen, as much as you love fucking art, I don't give a fuck. I do this to support my kids and my wife. So if I turn you away, you're gonna go somewhere and get it. So if it doesn't make me look like a piece of shit, then I'm gonna do your tattoo. Well, everything I've seen before, like uh, weird lettering on someone's face or something like that. At the shop, as a policy, we refuse all like neck tattoos, face tattoos, head tattoos, hands tattoo, as long as the people are not covered. And and I refuse belly buttons and belly. Yes. I generally don't like doing dragons. I actually. They're beautiful. I love them, but for some reason, every time I start tattooing one, I'm just like, fuck. Like, I feel like they're they should really be studied first, and I'm just I haven't. I'm terrible at them. When I was younger, I didn't mind doing the names because I was part of the industry. Now it's just like tattoos that I cannot honestly like. Once I talk with my clients, I get to know them, so I make sure that like I get a good artistic taste for who they are. And if it's something that's like gonna be totally against their being, I mean, what, like they, like when they work or how they, how they act as an individual, I usually will say no to like something silly. Usually names, I'll stay away from names 100%. Oh shit, there's one uh, about 10 years ago in my old shop, a guy came in, big fucking scary guy. He was like seven foot tall, about 350 pounds, scary motherfucker and he wanted in big block letters across his forehead, I hate my mom, right? He asked me to do it, I said no. Core placement or bad ideas, you know, something that's gonna, my name is attached to it, so I don't want my name attached to something I don't feel strong about, so, you know, if it's something along those lines, I just 
I'll just either give them a better option that I feel is better or, or just say politely I'm sorry. I wouldn't like to do hate type tattoos or you know anything that's going to be but you know at the end of the day it's like who are we to tell anyone no you know. Uh, I had a dude once ask me to do a portrait of Hitler which I didn't do that because you know, I don't yeah. really like, they just hate stuff you know. I mean yeah. I feel like most people I won't do anything race related yeah. you know or just racist related it's that's kind of a given. I don't know tribal is, is one thing I just feel like I respect the, the whole outlet of that, but I just for me it's just too redundant. It's just like coloring black. I like something more, like, you know, cohesively played out. If I asked him if he wanted an Indonesian sign, which looks a lot like a SWAT sticker, and he told me flat out no, that he wanted a SWAT sticker. SWAT stickers and stuff like that is oh, goes without yeah, saying, yeah, yeah. you know. I've done them. Like, you know, oh, I'm not going to lie to you. Like, you know, there's times where, like, you know, it was just, like, craziness going on. And, like, you, you did a couple. Like, it was, I tattooed for 20 years. Shit's about to happen. But uh, nowadays, it's, like, it's not even funny. Like, you know, back then, it was, like, like punk rock and stuff like that. You know? I guess. I don't know. Yeah, it's, I know it happened, so that makes me...